Hello, and today I'm going to show you how to install Octane X for a M1 Max chip. Here's my uh, system. It's a Mac OS Monterey 12.0.1, uh, Apple M1 Max, and 32 gigabytes of memory. So if you've never installed Octane before, you actually need to download two things. The first thing is the Studio standalone. So we just want to go down and select Mac OS Metal. And from there, we want to look for Octane X PR13 Monterey. Um, click on the download button, hopefully it will turn up, and yep, yeah, here it is. And once that's downloaded, you want to find it in your downloads and double click on the DMG. And once it's opened, you'll then be able to drag and drop the Octane X Studio PR13 symbol into your applications. And then I'm also just going to double click on there just to see if it loads. And once it appears, it will say, do you want to open it? And I usually click don't warn when opening applications from the disk image and then click open. And so now you're ready to enter all of your details. Now on this step, I actually forgot to sign out of my previous laptop and that's where this will come up and it will show which subscriptions are used on which device. So a good way to check this is by going on the Otoy website under your account and you go to subscriptions. You'll actually be able to see the status of your account um, in blue. So you can see it's active actually on my old laptop on both the standalone and the plugin. You don't want to click on unlock license because that will use one of them up. What you need to do is this is on the Cinema 4D plugin, go into settings and account, and then you'll be able to sign out from here using that button. And you also want to do the same thing on the Octane standalone. So if you go to file activation status, you'll also see the sign out button there. Once you've done both of these, once you go back onto your subscriptions, you'll actually see that they change from the blue to the green available status. And that means we're ready to continue with the install. And now that that's done, um, when we go back and I enter in my username and password, hopefully we now should be able to just log in normally and it should open as normal. So as soon as I click sign in, it's taking its sweet time. There you go. Uh, Octane X Studio PR13 standalone is already done. Now we need to get the plugin that's going to plug into Cinema 4D to tell it to operate in the plugin window. So we'll just go in the drop down and find Octane for Cinema 4D. There it is. And we want to click on Mac OS Metal. And then we want to click on Octane X PR13 Monterey R23 to R25. And you want to click download. Uh, and you want to click accept. And you should see it pop up down there. Yes. Once that's downloaded, we then want to open Cinema 4D. And you want to go to the Cinema 4D at the top left. And you want to go click on preferences. And then once that opens, you want to click at the bottom. You can see open preferences folder. And that's where we're going to be putting the plugin. Um, so you'll see there's a bunch of folders. You want to click on the plugin folder. And this is where we're going to be dragging and dropping from our newly downloaded plugin into this folder here. So I'm just going to go and find it in my downloads and dragging and drop it into here. And so the next thing we have to do is to go into this folder and we need to remove all the other Xlib files that are not R25. So we need to delete 21 and 23, move to bin and the S24. So the only four things we should have is the Xlib file for R25, the Dlib, the Octane Dat and the Res folder. And that should be it. So now we can close out of Cinema 4D. And the next thing we need to do is to make sure it runs on Rosetta 2 because Octane doesn't actually run on the M1 Mac chip natively. So in order to do that, you need to go to your applications folder and find the Maxon Cinema 4D R25 folder. Right click on the Cinema 4D logo and click on get info. And then here you'll see two checkboxes and you want to click open using Rosetta. I'll probably do another video when it does update to using the M1 Max chip natively. And I also like to click scale to fit below built-in camera. Um, and that's all we need to do from this perspective. Now, if we actually go and open Cinema 4D, the issue I had was the security and privacy settings again. So what it will ask you to do is to go into your security and privacy and try and allow anyway. However, in my case, even when I unlock and I just use my touch ID to get through to here, um, even when I unlocked and I try and click allow anyway, it doesn't go away. So what we need to do is to disable the gateway or the security gateway and we do that using the terminal. So to do this we have to close out of Cinema 4D and open our terminal. And what we have to do is to do a super user do or a sudo command. Um, you can copy and paste this from underneath the video and put it straight into here. And what this will do is master disable the security gateway. Um, so once you press enter, you'll then be asked to put in your password. No dots will show up, but if you just press enter once you've entered your password, 
um, a new line will come up and that means if I click on the security and privacy settings you'll now see a new thing which says anywhere which now means that Octane will be able to open. So if I now go and find Cinema 4D you will now see hopefully yes Octane in the top navigation bar. I'm just going to open the live window. It did take a while for it to initialize but it did say that it was initialized in the bottom left and as soon as I had to wait maybe about two or three minutes um, the live window viewer should magically appear. Yay, there we go. So we now have access to Octane um, in Cinema 4D. Uh, so what I like to do is just to dock this on the right hand side so it makes it easier to uh, work with side by side. And I'm just going to speed through really quickly putting in a cube and then adding a material, putting a plane in down at the bottom, adding a material to that really quickly and adding in an Octane light. There we go. And then click render. And yes, there we go. Octane is working. Aren't we all happy? Because <laughs> it took me a while to figure this out. So yes. And a quick tip is if you go into window, um, yeah, window and customization, you can then save this as a new startup layout. So you don't need to go and dock Octane Live Viewer every single time you open Cinema 4D. And the last thing we have to do is to just re-enable the gateway so we can protect your computer against bad apps. And in order to do that, just copy and paste the sudo spectral master enable command line into the terminal, type in your password again, again nothing's going to show up, and press enter, and then there you go, it should be re-enabled. So now I'm just going to open Cinema 4D, and as magic we should have no security and privacy issues, we have Octane already docked, ready to go, and if I just go and open my security and privacy settings, um, you will also see that the Anywhere um, checkbox has also been removed, so now it's only App Store and Identify Developers that can be installed. And that's it. So if I just do another speed run of just putting in another cube and putting in my floor and then sticking in some materials, uh, just quickly drop in these two and then add a light and click on the render again. And yes, there we go. Octane is working. And I think that's it. So you should now be able to run Octane on your Cinema 4D. If you have any more comments or questions or if it doesn't work for you, please just leave a comment down below. Um, and I'll try and help the best that I can. And uh, yeah, and that's it for me. So thank you so much. And I hope this helps.